Hi everybody, so today we got the tweak. This invention was a Kickstarter that had a very interesting idea. So let's take a look. So the first adjustment they made from the Kickstarter is these pegs. We'll go over exactly what they do later on. But it does come with three of them. So remove the packaging, you have to just cut the zip tie. So here's the principle behind the tweak. You squeeze this nubbin area, and the tweak will fold upwards. This is so you can avoid touching the food scraps from the sink. So let's test how these pegs go in. It's simple enough, you basically just push it in. Okay, so let's put the tweak on the sink. It just barely covers a normal sink. The first test is that it doesn't float in water. So this is a good thing. One of the fears I had was for it, once you fill the sink up with water, it starts floating away from the drain. When you squeeze the oven, it folds inward to collect the debris. There's a slight flaw. When I squeeze, there does release a gap in the sink. So that you have to be aware of. So let's do some dishes. Okay. You see over here, I was pretty messy with doing the dishes. I got plenty of food scraps. So the first problem is, you have to push all the food scraps towards the tweak. This is actually not that simple. If you gently brush up against the tweak, it'll basically push the tweak away from the drain. It does hold the debris once you get her on the tweak. And it's actually kind of easy to dump it out in the garbage can. Most food items will slide off. If your hand or a plate brushes up against a tweak, it'll knock it away from the drain. So that's why I had to start using the pegs. Second problem is the holes for the tweak are actually kind of big. Food scraps still goes through the tweak. Overall, would I recommend the tweak? Not really. It does what it's supposed to, but it just doesn't do it very well. And at $15, slow ship, very bad customer service, not a product I would recommend. When you get a chance, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.